So now, probably the biggest video in my career ever. Never to be surpassed by any video ever. Suddenly there was a $3,000 guitar in our house. Ernie Ball sent me an email saying, hey, we have a video opportunity for you centered around G3. And I was like, cool. You know, G3 is the concert that usually has Paul Gilbert, John Petrucci, and Joe Satriani. They sent me an email, I'm like, yeah, sure, that, that, that'd be sick. The next email started sounding a little bit weird. It was like, we're making plans to move forward with the G3X John Petrucci video idea. And I was like, okay, that's weird. John Petrucci, if you don't know, is the guitarist of Dream Theater, and he's one of my biggest guitar idols of all time. I remember one of the biggest leaps forward in my guitar playing was at one point when I was in high school, I closed myself into my room and I booted up John Petrucci's Rock Discipline DVD. And I told myself I could not leave the room until I could play everything in that video. And I did. It was many hours. My skills went after that. So John Petrucci is an, an extremely important guitarist to me. I'm in Georgia at this point and they're like, uh, hey, can we give you a call? And I was like, yeah. So this is around Christmas. They call me and they go, we want you to do a video with John Petrucci in person. And I was so overwhelmed with that just that, just that sentence. I remember specifically my response sounding really underwhelming. I remember just being like, all right, <laughs> oh, okay. All right, yeah, and they're like, we're gonna be unveiling the new John Petrucci Majesty, and we would like you to do a video with him. We'll speak in uh, email about it. And I remember just being in shock. I told Adrian, I'm like, this is something that I might do, okay. I remember the realization that it was happening. Sill wasn't there by the time John Petrucci drove up to my house. It was kind of one of those things where I was just waiting for it to fall through, you know? I, I was like, I don't want this to hurt when it doesn't happen. And even while I'm literally recording all this stuff, sending it to them, getting tracks back, mixing it in. I'm like, this is going to fall through. The other thing that happened before that was they sent me the majesty beforehand. I don't think I ever talked about this before, but they actually sent me the majesty in the mail a week before John Petrucci arrived because they wanted me to try it out first. They didn't tell me they were sending it. Suddenly there was a $3,000 guitar in our house. I think at that point, all the guitars I owned equaled up to that guitar. Yeah, we were like, is that a guitar package? Why is there boss battle music happening? So the funniest part of it was I opened it. It's a uh, John Petrucci, Ernie Ball, Music Man, Majesty. I'm like, I didn't ask for this. I felt like Frodo. I was just like, I didn't want this burden. I distinctly remember Adriana being like, don't touch it. Don't touch the guitar. We don't know why it's here. You don't want to put any fingerprints on it. We might have to send it back. Maybe it was an error. And I'm like, oh, come on. It's I pull it out. She finally uh, like convinced me to like put it back. And we're just like, all right, we're going to go to Denny's and we're going to figure this out. Leave the guitar there. And we're just at Denny's and we're like, okay, what do we do about this guitar that's in our house? So the best part is I send an email to Ernie Ball. I'm like, why is there a Music Man Majesty in my house? And they just respond with like one line like email. It was essentially like, haha, do you like it? I didn't get any fucking answers out of them. I'm just like, all right, sick. And then yeah, John Petrucci rolls up to my house and he's just like, what up? I'm John Petrucci. No, he was just like, hello, I'm John Petrucci. And then I immediately fangirled over him. Probably, I remember I, I kind of blanked out. I want to change this to a picture of John Petrucci in my doorway. There he is. That's the the man, the man, the legend, the man, the myth. I blanked out, so I probably was like, hello, I am your son. Imagine if he, he comes out of the Uber, I'm like, hello, Mario. <laughs> so we only did like about a minute of the song, but it was really fun because like we went down to my studio and he was like, how long is this going to take to film? And I'm like, I don't know, but it's probably going to be pretty fast. And then we just started talking for like 30 minutes, just him and I. And we just sat there and we talked about music and school and being in bands and life. It was really weird. It, it was it was really, really, really cool. And it was so chill. It was so awesome. He was so humble. I remember specifically he said something along the lines of like, it's really cool that I get to do G3 because Joe Satriani comes out there and he, he plays incredible music and then Phil Collin comes out there and he plays incredible music. I just get up there and I just play a bunch of notes and I'm just like, wow. You know, John Petrucci is just like the most humble, humble person on this planet. One of the things that we talked about is just like how like, it's just, it's so sad seeing such elitist musicians, you know? Unfortunately, prog music is, is riddled with elitism and we didn't talk about this, but I thought it was just so fucking cool that like, I know a lot of dream theater fans that are the most elitist musicians I know. And John Petrucci was the most humble guitarist I'd ever met in my life. It was really awesome. So we talked about that stuff and then eventually we we're just like, all right, let's bang this out. And we filmed this in 30 minutes. It's such an important video. I got to talk about it, but here we go. You have Ernie. Hey, Ernie Ball. Uh, I had a quick question. I'm doing the Super Mario Brothers theme, but I'd love to collaborate with somebody. And I was wondering if you guys knew anybody who would want to... Hold on, I gotta get the door. Uh, 
Jesus. <laughs> it's a me. So that, of course, was a reference to uh, the John Petrucci psycho exercises, which he is aware of, if you guys ever wanted to know that. So I actually, I went to G3. I have I have my ticket for the G3 show that, that I saw him at, and I actually got to go backstage and show him up to that point in the video. And he really enjoyed it, and he laughed, and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe this is fucking happening! And they're backstage with him, and the guy who designed one of his pedal board systems lives in San Diego, too, so he was there, too, and, you know, I got to meet him, and he was really interesting. It was just... It it was an incredible experience. Adriana was there with me too, so it was crazy. Anyway, here it is. I didn't do any editing to his guitar. He just sent me this track and I was like, wow, that's perfect. I don't know why, I, I don't know what I expected, but it's perfect. <laughs> Literally just dropped it on the track and it was great. He, he was really tickled by that little uh, coin sound that I stole from Casper. Ugh. How? <laughs> yeah. This part. God, so cool. Yeah, see his guitar 89. <laughs> And then he did, yeah. so you can tell like we had a we had like a fucking chemistry here so like we were so comfortable with each other that he was like stabbing <laughs> me with guitars and you know it was just so much fun and it was so cool too because like a year and a half later Jack and I went to a dream theater show in our town he actually invited me to stage side to like see him when you know he would come off stage yeah 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 Jack you can come down and talk about this if you want well, it's so no, uh, <laughs> here's my roommate Jack. I don't even know where to begin, but that whole night was like so crazy. You were talking to John the whole time, like literally just like what? Up? Text it, yeah. It was yeah, John. like we were we were at the show, and he in between songs because you know it's Dream Theater, so there's like 20 minute drum solos. Yeah, and stuff. there was like a, a break where like I think they were doing other stuff that wasn't guitar stuff, and you get a text, and he's like, "Are you enjoying the show so far?" <laughs> in the middle of the show, he gets a text from the fucking <laughs> guitar player, and then we were like, "Wonder what his guitar tone is," and we were like debating. I was like, I think it's the Mesa. And then you were just like, I think it's the Axe Effects, yeah. actually. And I was like, oh, I don't know. And then you were literally just like, hey, John, what are you doing for your guitar sound? And then, and then he responded. <laughs> he responded. And he was like, well, it's a it's a combination of the Axe Effects <laughs> and the Mesa. And Jack's like dying. He's just like, how are you like living right now? And I'm just like, I'm not. I'm not on this dimension right now. I'm just texting John Petrucci right now. Yeah. And then, and then he asked if we wanted to come hang out on the side of the stage. So, you know, we were just like, yeah, you know. Like, nah, dude, nah, I'm good. Yeah. So yeah, we went to the side of the stage and then that's when I met John Bertucci. I mean, it was literally like, he had like 10 seconds to spare and I'm just like, Hey man, <laughs> he's just like, hey, what's what's your name? I'm like, I'm Jack. You like shook your hand. And yeah, had yeah. He, he shook my hand. He asked me if I'm enjoying the show. I'm like, do you have time to talk to me right now? And then Frick, we saw man. we saw the whole show. It was amazing. And then do you want to talk about what happened after? Go for it. Uh, like, I think he texted you and he's like, hey, we're, you guys still here? We're like, yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get McDonald's actually. Dude, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We'll catch you next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. We went backstage and we you know had at least an hour hour and a half just like conversation man like we went backstage in the dressing room and it started off with john petrucci and his guitar tech so we started talking and i started like loosening up and stuff and we were just talking like you were saying before like freaking john is just he's a freaking god like i don't want to downplay that but like as a person he's so chill and we were just talking about gear and stuff uh, like he was talking about his favorite kinds of guitars he was asking me like what i use he's just like above all things he's a fan of guitar you yeah know? so freaking that was wonderful and then someone knocked to the door and it opens up the door who is it oh jordan rudez <laughs> the, the keyboard player hello to dream theater and i just like fucking shit myself <laughs> yeah i was he was like right there dude 
And I was just like, yo. So basically it turned into this like party, dude. Like yeah. it was like freaking the whole, like freaking Jordan Rudess, John Petrucci, John's Guitar Tech, myself and Jules were in this dressing room just shooting this shit. It's for, like, like better than a party because it's like five dudes and we're all like, you know, just hanging out. Like somebody like came in, they're just like, they like made sure like we weren't like harassing them or whatever. Yeah, yeah. They were just like, like, hey, do you want us to get these guys yeah. out of here? <laughs> and we're just like, dude, we'll leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're like, please <laughs> take us away. Yeah, we're like, we are definitely harassing them. <laughs> it ended up like turning into like Jules. Jules was talking to John and you guys were catching up on stuff and like the way you two interact with each other is like truly like some like dad son shit. John truly like you see something in Jules man. He fucking loves Jules. Father like, father dumb and son dumb. Yeah dude. Basically I was talking to Jordan Rudess and me and Jordan were talking <laughs> and freaking Jordan was asking me about streaming on Twitch <laughs> Yeah. and freaking like I was telling him about Streamlabs, I was telling him about Twitch and he was like that sounds so cool. That was pretty much the moment where I was like yeah, I think moving to San Diego is a good idea. <laughs> I've been in a flat line since this video about this whole thing. And it's just, I feel like I'm pretty good about keeping my cool, even in like the craziest of experiences. Yeah. Um, I, I've definitely been fangirling, but I just fucking, I, I respect him. And I know like, you know, of all people, John Petrucci probably gets like harassed by people who just like look at him like divinity, which I mean, like he is a deity to guitarist because he's done so much for the craft. But like, you know, he's just a fan of guitar as well. And I mean, just like you said, like I I think it's important to remember that and i do you know yeah and then the vr yeah so bringing it back to this day we'd finished filming so early that he was like oh i guess i'll just call my uber and i was like yeah yeah that's cool like i don't want to keep you so i showed him the house i showed him the views and everything and i remember i was just like yeah have you ever played vr john petrucci <laughs> and he's just like vr and i'm like yeah we got a vr thing and he was like hold my uber and that's that's when we filmed the two john petrucci doing vr videos that are on jules conroy right now thanks for letting me tell that all right Bye, chat. Bye. Bye, Jack. But yeah, so that was this day, man. It, this whole this whole John Petrucci thing was a huge, huge thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John's lab. We're, hey, like we were all having such a great time, you know. Nice hair. Thank you. Appreciate out. it. Been playing this yeah, if John Petrucci becomes a Jedi. That's right. Majesty, monarchy, majestic purple. Vanna it for you. That's there right. You <laughs> what do you think of that guitar? It's amazing. Um, cool. Yeah, like uh, I'm a huge fan of like uh, smooth necks. I'm not really yes. a huge fan of like very. Uh, you know, hard ones in this, like, I almost feel like... So, I was really on the spot, like, the way that this video came out was John turned to Adriano and was just like, do me a favor, Adriano, just start filming. That was it. And I was just like, oh, fuck, <laughs> like, what's about to happen? And he just started talking, he started doing this, and what I later realized, you'll see. You know, compared to what I usually play, like, yeah. I feel like if I slide, I'm gonna, like, fall off and, like, trip down the stairs. Right, exactly, <laughs> you know, it, yeah. It's so smooth, and, like, you, I don't know. That guitar is, the, the whole design is it's supposed to just get out of your way yeah. and make it really easy for you to be able to play. Well, since you like it so much, I have a uh, special treat for you. It's yours. You get it. <laughs> So at this point, it was so hard to be able to convey the emotions that are going through my head right now. At this point, I had had the guitar for a week. I kind of figured something was up. Like I could see in the twinkle of his eye that he was about to give me this guitar. And then I started freaking out and I started realizing like, oh my God, if he gives me the guitar, how do I react? I'm on the spot. What do I do? Oh my God. And then like he did, he said it. And then I'm like, ah, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> you get to keep it. like, you get to keep it. <laughs> I just love that. He's just like, it's yours. You get to keep it. <laughs> I love that. Special treat for you. It's yours. You get to keep it. You get to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> As if and again, like, it's so important to know that, again, we'd been chilling for like 30 minutes before this. So we had chemistry. We were hanging out and talking. So like the way that this video is almost like presented is that like this all happened within the three minutes that he walked through my door when that's not really what happened. But as if playing the Mario theme with you wasn't enough. Jesus, thank you so much. <laughs> As if playing the Mario theme wasn't enough. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and uh, this is kind of cheesy when guitar players give you the pick, but it does have a Majesty logo on it, and it, it kind of goes with it. Um, how thick is that pick? Because I don't know. If I can... <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, like we're joking around, and some people are like, "Wow, what a dick! This guy is such a dick. He's like not <laughs> accepting the pick." Two millimeter. It's a little thick. <laughs> Perfect. So try it out. See if you like. It. Oh man, right, I cool. think the one that I usually. I wanted to hug thank him, so but that seemed like too much. Thank you. Guys, uh, thank you <laughs> I wanted so to, watching. I wanted to just uh, give him a big uh, dad this hug. Is to Ernie Ball, thank you, yes. John. Man, I, this is a dream come true. Thank you, Jules. Thank so. you, Mario. Thank you, Ernie Ball, music man. <laughs> thank you, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mario. So fucking wholesome. Am I use this on G3? No. Do it. Do it. Use it. 
He's on G3. That's the John Petrucci arc. And it's still continuing. Hopefully I'll do something with him again. That'd be cool.